Little Nightmares 3 is set to release this year on pretty much everything. PC, PS4 and 5, Xbox Series X, S, 1, and even Nintendo Switch. <sighs> We've waited two years since the initial announcement, but I wanted to go over everything we know so far since the world is so interesting, chaotic, and downright creepy. Let's call this the who, what, when, where, why of Little Nightmares 3. If you do enjoy news, info, and playthroughs of indie games, give the channel a little subscribe and hit that like button. It helps the video a lot. Thank you. The disgustingly beautiful world that is Little Nightmares has a long-running list of endlessly interesting characters. We got Six, Mono, the Gnomes, Homegirl with the Neck. <laughs> But so far, it doesn't seem like any of these friendly faces will be joining us through the third installment. This new story will follow Lo and Alone. You can play as either of these characters. This duo doesn't have much of a known backstory yet, but we do know they have a history together before this game. And there's an option to hold hands. Aww. So we can assume they care for each other and there won't be any sort of betrayal, right? Lo is a little boy with a sort of witch doctor mask. Like most other Little Nightmare protagonists, he's looking pretty rough. Tattered shorts, a rope for a belt, no shoes. He does have a pretty cool cape though. He's lived in the spiral for years now. More on that later. And he's hoping to find his way home. A producer of the game also mentions he's obsessed with reaching a mythical place where he believes he will find a gateway leading home. Lowe's particular abilities are his bow and arrow and mirror transportation. Kind of like how Mono can transport through TVs, it seems. Alone is a little girl with pigtails and a very fashionable yet practical hazmat jumpsuit. She has chosen a huge wrench as her weapon. Again, little is known about this character for now, but she certainly seems to care for her partner, Lo, and has a curious tinkerer's mind, according to that same producer. Now we've still got those lovable gnomes, but there seems to be an ongoing trend of stone statues across the maps that we have seen. These are the dwellers, the former citizens of the necropolis. They're frozen in time at the exact moment the monster baby laid her eyes on them. Yeah, <coughs> monster baby. There's a big, giant baby meandering around the city. If that's not terrifying enough, she turns you to stone if she catches you out and about. She's the reason for the fall of the necropolis in the first place, so I'm expecting a giant baby fight at some point. And that's what we got officially. Unofficially, we've seen the beetles, the fair goers, and the hands coming out of the pipes, which, can I just say, would not be comfortable whatsoever, unless it's one person with 12 hands. Now that's on the front end. On the back end, we have super massive games, known for The Quarry, The Dark Pictures Anthology, and Until Dawn, is taking over the series from Tarsier Studios. Look out! Tarsier Studios. I'm taking over! <laughs> They worked on the enhanced edition of Little Nightmares 2, but this will be their first by themselves. They do have some experience in horror games though, so I'm excited to see Little Nightmares 3 possibly lean even further into the horror aspect of the world. So what's going on in Little Nightmares 3? One word, I don't know. The plot is absolutely TBA. And that's to be expected, even after doing a full playthrough of a Little Nightmares game, some folks might not even know what's going on. What we do know is what we've already touched on. Lo is determined to escape the nowhere with his best friend alone. He's also obsessed with reaching a mythical place where he believes he will find a gateway leading back home. Now, this is a tricky one to answer. With the conclusion of Little Nightmares 2, it was confirmed that it is a prequel. This is how Six ended up on her journey to the mall, how she was able to absorb the woman's powers, how Mono would eventually turn into the Thin Man. I'd certainly be willing to bet we'll find some clues as to where Six and Mono are, but will we play as them? Mm, it's tough to say. Is this long before the second game? Could be. It seems like this has brought up more questions than answers. As with all Little Nightmare games, this takes place in the nowhere a physical world that is only accessible through dreams. Usually only a particular type of tormented child is allowed to cross the threshold into the nowhere, but adults have been known to end up there as well. The mall, the pale city, and the nest are all within the nowhere. In this particular part of the nowhere, we find ourselves in the spiral, a collection of places, some of which being the necropolis, the fun fair, and the factory. Gameplay we have shows us wandering a desert and scaling a giant wall right outside the necropolis. 
Necropolis literally means cemetery, especially a large one belonging to an ancient city. So I think it's safe to assume there's not going to be much life here. Except the baby. And the giant beetles. The fun fair is along Lo and Alone's journey as well. It seems to be a fairground full of those same oversized residents. Tents, string lights, and trash all around, the fair also seems to have a few rides to lose yourself on. Finally, the last location we see in the trailer is the factory. Possibly a lollipop factory, it's littered with candy, even having dumped them in certain places. It doesn't seem very clean either. There's lollipop goo leaking from the pipes, and even bugs scuttling around. So why should we play it? I think if you've played any of the other Little Nightmares, you know they are full of visual storytelling, eeriness, and a charm that is special to this franchise. I don't think this will be any exception. Also, it's a co-op game, and that adds a whole new side to the Little Nightmares experience. Even if your friend doesn't have a copy, they can play with you remotely. I could go on for days about the stories in this universe, and I want more. It's such a cool premise, and it's told so beautifully. And that's the who, what, when, where, and why of Little Nightmares 3. The locations look intricate, mysterious, and dystopian. The monsters, deadly. And our heroes, steadfast. Let me know if you want to see any more videos on the world of Little Nightmares, because I'm having a blast over here. Give the video a like and maybe subscribe to the channel for more indie game news and playthroughs. I'll see y'all later. Peace!